Good morning, ma'am. Yes, very good morning. Can I have your resume, please? Sure. Okay. What's your name? Surya. Surya, can I know about yourself? Yes, ma'am. Good morning. First of all, thank you for giving this opportunity to introduce myself. My name is Surya. I am from Andhra Pradesh, West Coast of District, Palakkadu. And I did my coming to my qualification details. I did my intake in Sasiyaridi College of Engineering. And uh, I did my project in the title of Design Analysis on Rewriting Housing of a Track. And I did my BTEC in Sasi Engineering College with a stream of Mechanical Engineering. And coming to my uh, I, uh, I did my diploma in Srivastava Engineering College in the stream of Mechanical Engineering and uh, I have technical skills on Core Java and SQL. Coming to my stems, uh, I am self-dependent and post learner. And my short term goal is to get a job in a reputed company. And my long term goal is to get a uh, good position and uh, in an organization. Yeah, okay. And my hobbies are uh, playing cricket and badminton. That's all about me. Okay, good. Um, yes, your technical skill is Go Java. Yes, it's completed. Now you are learning. That's good. It's completed. Yes, okay. I will ask you a few, few questions in Go Java. Uh, are you willing to answer those questions? Yes, this is a technical mock interview only. Okay. Mm, yes, okay. Uh, Surya, please explain uh, uh, Java architecture. Java architecture is nothing. It is three types: uh, source code, byte code, and machine code. Uh, the source code it is a collection of instructions, and it has a human readable language like plain text. And coming to the byte code means it is a program compiled program code from source code to low level code. It's called byte code. And the machine code is, it is a machine file, it contains machine file uh, and to run from Java uh, and to run from bytecode to machine code uh, by using interpreter. That's it. Yeah, okay. And please tell me uh, how we execute Java project, pro, like a pro program. The steps. There are two steps. Mm -hmm. First step is to compile the Java program. Mm -hmm. uh, the syntax, uh, the command line is in command prompt yeah. Java C space file name dot Java. Mm -hmm. In the JVM uh, checks the error error in compiled method. There uh, is no error. Mm -hmm. uh, the JVM will execute the compiled program. And after the second uh, the second step is to run the program. In uh, the syntax is Java space file name. Mm. The uh, the JVM checks the error in runtime. If there is no error, uh, then they execute the program. Yes. Okay. yes. What is the switch condition? There are more number of uh, conditions. Then we have used switch condition. In switch condition, uh, we have to uh, write cases inside the switch case. If the switch case is uh, matches to the variable name, then execute the, the uh, then execute that case. Uh, if the if the if it does not matches the switch case to the variable name, it directly execute the default case. Yes. Okay. Cool. And uh, what is variable? And uh, tell me few types of variables. Variable uh, is a reserved memory location, and it is used to store the value. And the types of variables is local variable and class variable. Yes, yes, tell me what is local variable and what is class variable? The local variable means uh, inside the method it is a local variable and the class variable is inside the class and outside the method it is a class variable. Yes, good. Okay. Yes, tell me what is an array? An array is a data structure. It has a fixed size and similar data type. Okay. Uh, how many types of arrays are there? There are two types this? of arrays. Mm -hmm. One is static and second one is dynamic. What is static array? Static means uh, if we are given a, a fixed size, then it is a static. If we doesn't uh, mention size, then it is a dynamic array. Yeah. Okay. 